Nice knowing everybody. Did you to buy a dinosaur? Not today! Run! I didn't know we could leave. <clears throat> but guys, Tommy's not good at running yet! my manners. Want some? Hey, these bones look like spike food. That's spike! <laughs> hey, you tinkleheads! You better not have eat at all the good food! Uh, Phil has some mushy taters. You're gonna get in big trouble. What am I saying? You get away with stuff just because you're babies. Life is so unfair. What All right, let's head on day home. That was. Mm, today was so good. Ooh, I'm sure glad we sprayed for Tick. That's okay, Chucky. He can't hurt you. He's way out on that island. Come on, let's be brave guys together. <laughs> Starting now. Double shot, full fat, triple whip, and three sweeteners for Gen Z. Make sure to tag us. Chazzy, what's shaking? Betty, hey, I don't mean to alarm you, but the twins are playing with mud. Chaz, after the morning I had with them, be thankful it's mud. Guys, I've sighted something. My daddy says I'm brave, so I'm gonna start being brave. But would the brave Chucky still be a Chucky? Nope, not possible. If Chucky says he's gonna be brave, he's gonna be brave. The guys can stop talking like I'm not peers. Okay, let's play pirate adventure so you can practice. But we're playing coffee shop, and I'm the pasty shop. Well, that sounds like a nice game. How can you practice being brave playing coffee shop? How about pirate <laughs> coffee shop? <laughs> <Arr>! <laughs> Take your seats, your scabby wags. Here are your cats and cheetos. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and here's your pirate pasties, Marge. Um, do you have any pasties without mud? I thought you wanted to play pirate coffee shop so you could learn to be brave. I do. I'm a brave um, pirate boy, so I'm going to eat this pie. But I don't think I'm going to like it. I, I'm a brave pirate. I'm going to eat a little mud. Brave pirates eat mud. Stronger than I smell. Ooh. 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 Ah. 
What's the matter, Chucky? Oh, it's just life, Tobby. It's so hard. The one time I try to be brave, I eat a worm. It was only part of a worm. Oh, I'm just going to sit here and not be anything differenter than I always am. Well, then I'll sit here, too. Oh, thanks, Tommy. You know, it's kind of nice here in the peas and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> a doctor in the house? Oh, yeah, me. Angelica, everybody knows a kid can't be a doctor. I guess you haven't seen my Doc McDingling bag with official sticker. You only get this stuff if you're a real doctor. My mommy is a real doctor, and she doesn't have a sticker. Yeah, she probably stuck it on a shoe or something and walked all over it. Now listen up, we're gonna play hospital. And Susie and Fitzer are gonna be my first sick people. Ugh. This is not good. Not good at all. Dr. Angelica, I have been waiting here a long time. Ow! Tough luck. I've got Fitzer on the table. I gotta figure out what's wrong. And trust me, with him, there's a lot wrong. <sighs> it's cause I eat a worm, isn't it? You ate a worm? Only part of a worm. Hmm. Once I eated a watermelon seed and I thought my tummy was gonna swell, but nothing happened then. <gasps> oh, this is way worse than any old watermelon seed. Chucky, I'm sorry to say you've got wormy oleosis. What is that? Well, first you'll get all long and slimy, and then you'll turn into a worm who has to live in dirt. No, Fitz! Lucky! But Dr. Angelica, can't you fix his wormy oleosis? If only I could, Tommy. But there's no cure. And that's when my daddy woke me up and said I was having a bad dream. That was the scariest dream I ever heard it. Does my elbow look like a frog butt? Oh, my daddy doesn't understand. It's not just a bad dream. It's a bad everything. I am doomed. I'm going to turn into a worm boy. Guys, this is bad. We got to help Chucky. You're right, Tommy. Let's go get him some worm food. We'll be right back, worm boy. I've put together a little child care cheat sheet. You know, feeding schedules, menu plan, dangerous plant life to avoid. This section? Dee Dee, I know how to take care of kids. Nothing gets past me. They should have called me Lou Potato because I got eyes in the back of my head. You deserve a night out with your friends. Okay, thanks, Pop, but I'll leave the book here, just in case. Oh, but you shouldn't leave the fridge door open. It's dangerous for the babies. 